This is why you should push your kids. Just think about how you maybe as a parent, you probably struggle with going to the gym, working out, um, maybe eating better. That seems to be a common dilemma in just about every adult's life, right? Um, once you get to, you know, 25 years old, 30 years old, on up until, you know, your 90s, you're probably going to struggle and, oh, I shouldn't have ate that, I wish I had worked out, I, I need to do better, maybe you get to a workout plan and you don't stick to it. Wouldn't it be nice if you had, uh, you know, a friend? That's the reason health clubs work. That's the reason, you know, our academy works. Kids, kids are expected to be there. They, it's a group effort. It's a, it's, there's the buddy system is in place. Um, so you as a parent, you know, you need to push your kids and say, uh, you know, yes, let's get in the car. It's time for practice, and, you know, uh, especially as they get older. High school kids sometimes are cut loose. Once they get the car keys, the outside influence from the parent oftentimes stops, except for school, right? Even that, sometimes that too, I'm sure. But I would recommend you, just because the kid has, uh, you know, you, you need to figure things out on your own. No, they're 16. You know, if you're 40 years old and you can't get to the gym, you know, outside of maybe, you know, these little random episodes of motivation, right? I mean, I do it too. We all do, right? We all fight this. But if we struggle with it as successful adults, don't you think the 16-year-old needs to be kicked in the butt and say no? You have these goals to be, you know, a state champion or state medalist or wrestle in college, national champ, whatever your goal is. Maybe it's just to make varsity. And I am going to push you towards that. So you don't scream and yell at them. You know, if, if you're supposed to work out and you told your husband or wife, hey, you know, kick me in the butt. You don't want them to yell at you and belittle you because you didn't go to the gym this morning, right? But you would like to say, no, you reminded me that I'm supposed to uh, push you and nudge you. So that's what I'm doing, right? Do that with your kids. Just say, no, you do need to go to practice tonight. Get in the car. Or did you practice after uh, high school or, you know, after high school class let out? Or are you supposed to go to, um, you know, Perler's gym? It's, it's Thursday, you're going tomorrow, correct? I'm just checking, and if they say no, you say no, you are going, I'm going to push you, you wanted me to push you, and, and you do it kind of like in a remind, I'm gonna remind you of your goals type of a thing. I You know, we see a lot of talk nowadays, you know, you can't turn on CNN without them showing some crazy dad punching a referee or an umpire at a baseball game. That's, that's so uncommon. 99.9% .9 of us, it's just pretty much uncommon in my opinion. But what's too common, I think, is we don't push our kids enough, especially as they get older, or even the young ones. Let's be honest, some of us as parents are soft. Your kid starts crying, they don't wanna to go to practice. Well, no, you're the one that's gotta spend $100 a weekend going to a tournament. Do you really wanna sit there in the bleachers and watch your kid go one and two again every weekend. You have to talk them off the ledge. They're crying under the bleachers. You have to spend 30 minutes after every loss calming them down. And finally, here they are in a position to put forth some effort and get better. You should be like, no. I mean, you should be pushing your kids in athletics. Now, you can say, well, I'm not gonna get him up at six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and make him go do sprints at the high school track. Well, no, I didn't say that. All I said was, your kids said they wanted, your, your son or daughter said they wanted to get better. You guys sat down, you signed up for an off-season program. They said they wanted to do it. You both witnessed a lot of losses this year. Your kids spent a lot of time crying under the bleachers right? And you have to be stern and say, no, get in the car. You better, if you cry about going to practice, I'm going to keep you after practice and make you do a hundred push-ups. We're going to do extra, you know, 
we made a commitment, we're going to move forward. Then what starts to happen is pretty soon after three months or four months, the kids start to get so much better. Their self-esteem is there. And now they're pulling you to practice. Now they're saying, hey, sign me up for this camp. Hey, I heard there's a tournament in Columbia this weekend. Can I go? Hey, uh, you know, I was talking with, so I went to spend the night at my friend's house and we practiced in their basement. They have a home wrestling mat. And you're thinking, oh my God, this is wonderful. Um, where did this come from? Well, I'll tell you where it came from. You pushed your kids your athlete to the point where now they're excited because they've, they've tapped into the emotions of success. And they now know that when you push yourself, you get better. And so when they used to see pushing themselves as a punishment or a big task, now they're excited. No different than if you were a wife or a husband. Maybe you guys work out together, which would be perfect, right? But once you start to see results at the gym, you're more likely to keep going because secondly, you don't wanna go back to the way it was. So I think we all need a lot of pushing, especially in the beginning. So there's my advice for pushing your kids. I also like to say, push your kids in wrestling like you do in school, right? If, if they're supposed to, if they're a wizard at math and they get a C, you're probably not gonna be happy. If they're terrible at math and they get a C and you guys have spent two hours every night going over math, well then you're like, okay, that's just the way it is. We're happy with this. So look at the results too and also the effort and practice, right? If your kid gets taken down seven times in a row against the, uh, you know, the two-time high school state champ or the, the little league national champ, that's okay. But if they're supposed to beat that wrestler or they're lollygagging around at practice, kick him in the butt, right? Um, so there's my advice on pushing your kids. I think that it's underdone. I think we need to push our kids more. Common sense pushing. And you probably would do better in um, your um, goal setting and trying to reach and attain your goals if you had people pushing you. And again, that's the reason the buddy system is so important. Uh, group training is important. Some of us can't, you know, I just lift the weights in my basement. It's hard, right? But I also live an hour round trip drive from the gym. So it's easier than that. But, uh, you know, I have uh, wrestling parents who they work out before school. Uh, you know, if they're teachers or they, they have uh, exercise uh, facilities at their um, at their offices, right? Or I have parents who actually join gyms with their kids and they, they, they lift weights with their kids. Uh, and it's so much easier when you do have the buddy system. So, um, you know, that's the reason these off-season programs where it's not just your wrestler with one other wrestler, they're, they're much more productive. And there's a social component. So, um, you know, that's something to, to, to consider as well. Good luck to everyone. Hit the thumbs up button. If you like our videos, there's uh, over 300 of them here. You can check us out at perlerwrestling.com also. Uh, we have competition camps, uh, one weekend a month, overnight camps. Kids come up to St. Louis from as far away as Wyoming, Virginia. We just had someone sign up this morning from Washington State. So people fly in everywhere for our camps. Summer camps, they sell out almost every year the past 15 years. So if you had interest in those, we would... Love to have you consider us, perlerwrestling.com. Either way, good luck.